This is a quick demonstration of some new uh, uh, VR control mechanics, an update to uh, the Godot XR uh, tools project. All right, so just uh, to quickly demonstrate what we can do, let's so get started. started. All right, so we'll uh, start playing this thing. All right. So, we still have slew and uh, movement on the left controller, and turn and movement on the right. Uh, one of the changes is, if you do both sticks forwards like you're doing now, it doesn't uh, go you know, twice as quick as it used to. I also have jump, and it's a little high, but I'll show you why I'm going this high in a sec. So, I also have uh, flight uh, enabled as well. So, um, and uh, we have the teleport currently disabled. All right, so let's jump on down here. Um, actually, at this point, I can go a little hog wild and start killing this guy from up here if I wanted to. Now, the other thing this has is glide mechanic. So glide over this guy's head. And Get some pot shots in from behind. All right. So, jump up there, get him out of the way. Now, turns out there's, there's actually some pretty cool things we can do with glide now. So, if I glide up over, the, oh, just about got it. Okay. I go up the stairs here a little bit. Can't quite see that guy actually. Let me go to this platform. And... <laughs> Alrighty, so. But you can now jump over uh, chasms like that. To, um, yeah, we can. Uh, Easily make up these little uh, ramps here. Yeah. Unfortunately, the, the height isn't quite big enough to do that, but we can resort to the flight mechanic and go up uh, this way. Um, one of these days, I'm going to get that damn thing. Actually, we can uh, go up over here and uh, catch it in the next pass. There we go. Hey. So I had a collider there. This it seems not really not really designed to uh, to handle coming up this way. Uh, we can Alrighty. So maybe that glides a little bit too extreme, but uh, there you have it. Um, not a bad little uh, Set and there we go. Well, that was an overly uh, powerful jump. All right, so let's uh, see what we have to do to get this to work. So this is the uh, player controller, um, you know, the AR VR controller uh, for. Uh, this thing. It's got a new player body object. This is something brand new. Uh, gives you control over gravity, the maximum slope. Uh, you can climb up, uh, uh, drag while moving in regular player radius. There's also a glide that you can add here. Uh, you have to give it the controllers. Now that's, that's only because the uh, left and right controllers have been named here. If they have the default AR VR controller names, then it'll automatically connect up. But, um, you know, the uh, the glide detect distance is how far you have to hold the controllers apart before it thinks you're uh, you've spread your wings and want to glide. You have uh, how fast you fall and how fast you will glide forwards when you do it. Um, so you'll notice that we have a direct movement on the left hand with flying turned on, um, and on the right hand. We have our direct movement. Now, the left one is move and strafe, 
the right one is move and rotate and it's smooth. Um, and we also added a jump mechanic to the right hand on the A button. So uh, the only other change that had to happen to this demo project was update movement here. Uh, I had to add enabling and disabling the player body because without, when you disable and enable the player body, then it takes out all movement mechanics um, and also you know, the physics of that. So um, these you could leave in here, but they don't really do anything. Once you've nuked the player body, uh, that's it. All right.